In this video, we'll cover how to calculate a correlation in Google Sheets. As a very brief overview, correlation measures the degree of the linear relationship between two variables. It ranges from negative 1 to positive 1, where positive correlation higher scores on X go with higher scores on Y. A negative correlation higher scores on X go with lower scores on Y. And then with a zero or no correlation, there's no relationship or predictable pattern between X and Y. So to calculate a correlation in Google Sheets, we just want to go ahead and let's go ahead and type correlation here and then format this very briefly. So here's our correlation. We'll put it in this cell here, cell F2. Let's increase the font here and then bold it. Okay, to calculate the correlation, what we want to do is we start by typing the equal sign. That tells Google Sheets that we're going to use a function. And then the function name for correlation is corel, or C-O-R-R-E-L. And then what I want to do next is do an open parenthesis. And then when I do that, notice here Google Sheets gives me some examples of how to do this. And really all I want to do is I want to select inside the parentheses first the data for SAT score, and then after that I want to select the data for college GPA. And that will tell Google Sheets to calculate a correlation between these two variables. So I'll go ahead and select SAT score, all those values, and then I'm going to go back up here. And notice I didn't select the variable name. Okay, I'll press Control, and it should be Command key for Max. And then I'm going to select the next column. And then that's it. That looks perfect. And then notice here the values are selected. Now the way I finish off this function is I put a closed parentheses there, and I press Enter. All right, that is it. I'm going to de-italicize that. And then let's go ahead and dial this down to two decimal places. Now notice that the correlation is positive, a positive 0.64. And as a review, positive correlation means that higher scores on X go with higher scores on Y, where X and Y are just our variables generically. So since we correlated the values between the SAT score and the college GPA, that means there's a positive relationship here, which should make sense if you think about it. Higher SAT scores go with higher college GPA. So that is, people who do better on the SAT tend to do better in college, and that should make sense. Whereas people who don't do as well on the SAT tend to not do as well in college as measured by GPA. And we could format this briefly here. Let's see make this stand out just a little bit, put a little color into it. Okay, there we go. So the correlation is 0.64 in this example. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching.